most handsome and beautifully uh, attractive looking panel that you will see all day. Yeah. Also, the only panel you'll see all day. I feel so loved. <laughs> They'll be introducing the, themselves and you know a bit more about their backgrounds, but please uh, give, a, give a hand and welcome our panelists on contributing to WordPress. Thanks, guys. Um, we're, we're not like, as they pointed out earlier, we're sort of at the front of the room rather than on the stage, so I know we're sitting down, so you know, try to look around someone's head. Um, but can everyone see us fine? Is it sort of all good? Cool. As Gareth pointed out, you can go to slido.com and hit the WCCT. They get a page you can add questions and upload them. If there's a question there that you would like to see answered, because as it gets uploaded, you can go to the top and I've got to get to. Um, and if there's any silly questions, I'll leave. Um, <laughs> well, you know. Someone did ask earlier, what is the SP philosophy of Nile as well? And I have black to what the correct uh, 25 months for that is, and I apologize, but apparently it's 25 months now. Um, I don't know what one of that is. Good. Um, cool. So, yeah, my name is Hugh Lashbrook. Uh, I am in, on the WordPress community team and I work at Automatic, and I spend my, my full time job contributing to the WordPress community, helping run, uh, helping manage the team that manages meetups and work camps and stuff all over the world, which is a lot of fun. Um, I, believe, I manage this panel today, but the folks we're going to hear from are here on my left. So, I will allow them to introduce themselves quickly. And then we'll go from there. All of them are involved in contributing to WordPress in some way, or multiple ways, rather. Um, and yeah, work they do helps grow the WordPress project. One thing just to note that is very important is that, as has been mentioned, we're having our first contributor there. So I have to say, we've had a lot of WordCamp duties. We've never done another WordCamp in Cape Town, which is the first time, which is very cool. Um, and it's happening tomorrow at the Office of Nona, which is at the Old Castle Brewery. The details are on the WordCamp website and the address and all of that. From 10 until 4 tomorrow and lunch. Um, we contribute today is basically when whoever comes along and comes together to contribute to WordPress in some way. It's not just about code for the developers, it's in loads of different ways, which is part of what we can talk about today. So I'm going to kind of introduce themselves one by one, and then we'll start going through some questions. So um, if you could just, you know, start with the title if you've got the mic. Uh, who are we from and how do you are involved in contributing to WordPress? Go. Okay, thanks. Um, again, my name is Tabo. Hello, everybody. Uh, I work for Automatic as a happiness engineer for WordPress.com. Uh, the way I contribute to WordPress is I was the lead organizer of the WordCamp I for the previous two years, and I am currently a co-organizer of um, Arai WordPress Meetup, and I'm a WordPress fan. <laughs> uh, hello, my name is Vidanchu. Uh, so I work with time on metadata, uh, WordPress metadata. And uh, yeah, I, so my full time job is to contribute to WordPress. Right? So I'm, uh, I'm sponsored by Automatic to do that. And yeah, nice to be here. Uh, yeah, hi everyone, my name is Pascal. I don't work at Automatic, but I do <laughs> manage work and stuff. Um, I help organize WordCamp uh, Surrey two years. So for two years, I also the WordPress media in Surrey. I contribute to WordPress Core as a core coordinator, uh, to work with WPCLI. I do Lots of stuff with WordPress. Um, yeah. Hey everybody, I'm, my name is Trish. I also don't work for Automatic. Um, and the main involvement that I have in WordPress is apart from being open on Twitter and getting some direct messages going, this is so confusing. And the nearest meetup is in Cape Town and I'm in Kimberley. What do I do? is um, I'm a co-organizer of the WordPress Jojo meetup and yeah it's really it's great fun I have yet to write a line of code for the WordPress core or anything like that so remember that contributing is not for developers and just for developers and the people who are sometimes the most useful in terms of contributing are the people who go Okay, I don't know what to do. What's the difference between WordPress.org and WordPress.com? Help. Because that helps us on the docs team and things like that know what to write. So, you know, I hate the term when people go, oh, I'm just a WordPress user because the reason why WordPress powers 32% of the web, and the person who was wondering where he got the statistic is 
from Alexa's top 10 million sites, they look at who uses content management systems and they look at that and they look at the top 10 million sites in the world. And at the moment, we've just crossed 32% powered by WordPress. So, you, the reason we got 32% of the work with on WordPress is because of the users. The devs are a really valuable small population. So, back to you, Hugh. Cool, thanks. Um, yeah, so we're going to just kick off questions, but just a one thing to mention, you may have seen these sticking and hanging around on various tables at the registration desk. Those little icons are all the different contribution teams in the WordPress project. Each team gets its own handy icon, which is the one on the back, tells you what each team does, um, where, which are ways you can get involved with WordPress. And just reading that is pretty clear, that's not only software. So you can grab one of these and get some ideas, and also come on to contribute there. I will repeat that in your times throughout the time. But come on to contribute there tomorrow, it'll be fun. Um, it will be. It will be fun. Yeah. See ya. Um, cool, so I will, I mean, Trisha really one of the questions here is how can a non-developer contribute to WordPress? Trisha really mentioned, mentioned some of that. <laughs> um, but maybe you could pass on the towel. So we have one mic that just shares this. That's just how you know, the light is. Um, if you want to be a more massive than this, make sure you have more lights. Um, and then Tavo, you can just give us, uh, I know you spoke a bit earlier about starting your meal in Ferrari, but maybe Talk about some of the ways that London Earth can be involved in contributing to WordPress. Right. Um, so I talked about organizing meetups. And um, in my opinion, that's a really great way to get started. Uh, it doesn't require, like Trisha was saying, doesn't require any coding experience or you don't have to be a developer. Just have a willingness to get people together. Um, also, there's Pascal, he does a lot of work with polyglots. So I know a lot of us um, in this part of the world we speak more than one language. And WordPress needs to be translated. And it's not going to translate itself. So you know that's a that's a way you can get involved. There's a I always mention there's a website, make.wordpress.org, and you'll find all of these different teams and things that you can do to help on that website. There's a being a speaker is a way to contribute. Being a volunteer, that's actually a contribution to the to the WordPress project. So, you know, there's many, many ways. I don't feel like anybody, everybody in here has something they can give. You know, there's a certain skill, there's a certain thing that you enjoy to do that you can use to help make the WordPress better for everybody. Cool, thanks. Do anyone else want to add to that at all? Question? life missions, which I suppose is becoming more normalized since I'm speaking about it here, is to see the WordPress project translated into all 11 of the official languages. At the moment, only four of the languages are on the have official translations projects. So if you speak Kosa or Zulu, or Zulu we absolutely need you, and it's really, really easy, and it will take you less than a minute to get involved and in the WordPress community, and you'll get a cool little badge on your WordPress.org profile, so you don't just get that. If you speak any of the other languages apart from English, Afrikaans, Zulu, or Kosa, and would be willing to give a little bit of your time and be willing to oversee the quality of the translation. So basically, just seeing that people didn't go into Google and go, listen that. We've all seen a few lovely translations, other Wikipedia and other Google Translate. So the way that the WordPress project um, quality controls by that is through something that we call global translation editors. And that's another cool badge that you can get. Um, yes, I will pump the badges, whatever will work. Then you can get involved and it takes about 20 minutes to apply, to get a new language out to it, and then we can do this. Because all of us in this room have the great advantage that we can already speak English and are a bit familiar with the technology. And technology is intimidating. So one of the ways we can make it less intimidating is by translating. 
So, if you can translate, please, we need you. If you want to talk more about it, please, you can hit me up after here. You can, I'll be at the Contributor Day tomorrow. Um, you don't need to stay for the whole day, but if you can just come for a few minutes, you can have a meaningful contribution in less than 15 minutes. And yeah, so thank you very much. Cool. Um, yeah, so come on to the Contributor Day. I'll say that a lot. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you. Yeah, so uh, regarding the others, developers and not developers things like right? so there are a lot of projects that are built by really great developers, uh, backed by multi million dollar corporations, which fail, like right? because uh, it's not just the developers who make our project, right? For example, uh, Google does one, Microsoft does one, or whatever does one, right? Uh, so again, there are a lot of things to contribute, like writing a tutorial, writing a blog post, like not just uh, with the uh, Official word testing, but even with you know, right, when you are writing a blog, you write a tutorial, you write a case study, everything is contributing back to the uh, back to the community, right? Uh, if you want to get more involved, uh, you can go to this meta .wordpress So there you will find list of different different teams. Uh, you will find the blogs of different different teams, what they are doing, what are their current priorities, and and if you are designer, you will accessibility speaker, translator, or wherever you want to get involved, then you can. Uh, Pick and choose, you know, you can go through the docs you would interest in. And uh, like, that's a really way to, uh, that's a uh, really good way to get involved. Cool, thanks. Um, um, this question is right at the top. And I'm not sure if this is something uh, that you folks encounter as an issue, because I know, I mean, in terms of working on a manager, it's not to be sponsored by the manager itself. Um, but the top question is what are the challenges with contributing when not in a freelance position? Um, but you have daily or weekly commitments to attend to your work commitments. So basically, if you have a full-time job, how, how do you get involved in contributing? How do you work around those challenges? Because that is inherently a challenge. So it's, you know, one of the people kind of pass along and stuff, right? Yeah, so uh, one of the big advantages of WordPress contributions uh, is that it's uh, distributed across the world, which means there's a lot of different time zones involved, um, and there are often meetings um, in various teams where some of the people are sleeping in half of the world and the other ones are, are chatting. And the good thing is, uh, usually the computers are organized in a way that you can follow and everything um, synchronously. Right? Um, so basically, like every meeting, there is there will be like a, a meeting agenda that you should before and a meeting something afterwards. And you can just read these. Uh, whenever you get time, so you don't have to uh, really make like uh, it's time slot available to contribute. Uh, you can do that whenever you want, um, anywhere you want to. Yeah. One other thing, obviously, I was speaking from the position of a freelancer, but here, don't underestimate the value of a small commitment over a long period of time. So if you take five minutes a day while it's in your coffee break um, and you do that for 40 weeks of the year and you do it five days a week, you've already got 25 times 40 little, little impacts on the community. So you can also, one of the things you can do, especially if your company makes money through WordPress, don't be afraid to say, hey, I'd like to take one hour a week to do this. I believe that this will be advantageous to our company because of these advantages. I mean, if you look at the people that we know and associate with a lot of the things with WordPress, for example, most of us, if you talk about SEO, will all go, oh, you've got that Yoast plugin. The reason people remember that is because they're active in the community as well. So there is a business case as well. So don't be afraid of actually saying, hey boss, you know what, I think this is a good marketing stra strategy, especially since you can put it as part of your community, as what corporate social responsibility, so you can put it in that. Uh, just as a case study, I guess, when I, when I first started organizing work at Cape Town in 2013, um, I worked for weekly at the time, and the company, because we were obviously very involved in the community, they gave me time, that part of my job to organize local events and things like that. Like, so that was just because I said, yeah, I want to do this and I ask myself. 
and I bring up box. Um, so yeah, that's that. That's it. Um, cool. So someone just quickly, yeah, just to clarify, someone asked just the word batches for the question mark. They're talking about if you go to WordPress or if your profile to WordPress or slash your username, you get a bunch of badges saying what teams you're contributing to. That's what people refer to. So if you contribute translations, you get a funny class badge or whatever. Whatever. That's what that is. Just to clarify, that's what we'd say badge. It's not like an actual badge. Although there are some WordPress badges in the But um, yeah, it's a dog profile badge. Um, cool. So one, there's a really good question here. It's low down, but I think it is um, very important. Someone asked, why contribute to WordPress? What motivates you to contribute? Um, so I don't know if anyone wants to pick that up. Let's go. Yes. Um, so one good example, uh, for example, for uh, yeah, lots of companies is when you're using WordPress to build websites for clients, um, and you contribute back to WordPress to help uh, make sure that WordPress is built a way in a few years' time. Um, if you, like, it's a bit over-exaggerated, but basically um, it's in your interest to uh, have WordPress be still successful. Um, and you can only do that by contributing to it. Yeah. So to uh, add on top of what Pascal said, so contributing to WordPress is uh, not just a righteous thing, it's, uh, you know, it's, it could be a strategy. Like you can think of it as a strategy thing. So if you are an individual contributor, you know, you could, uh, you could use it to advance your career. If you are a, uh, you know, if you're a designer, you're a freelancer, you're a coder, you're a coder, you're a designer. Also, contributing to WordPress is also important to avoid this. Uh, uh, so there's this thing called the identity of commons, in which, you know, uh, a community take uh, user common source for itself. Just for self freedom and end up uh, over exploiting it. Like, similar to what you're talking about, you know, the others, right? Uh, so, to avoid that, to ensure community, to ensure that, to ensure the dominant of not just a product, uh, not just a uh, project, but also your business, right? It's very important that you put your. That's a good thing, yeah. Okay, so talk about the um, yeah, that's, I really agree with what you just said. That if you can use contributing to WordPress as a tool to open doors for you. Um, that's very important for the people who feel like, you know, um, I'm contributing to WordPress, what am I going to get out of it? That's something I actually try to make the people in my community aware of. And, you know, you can actually um, get some benefit and career advancement from it. But the reason I like to contribute to WordPress is because it's actually been very good to me. You know, it actually changed my life. Um, it's something that I love doing, so I do what I do because I love what I do. And um, it's out of gratitude for what it's done for me. And I want to make sure, like as I said, that it continues to be there and continues to get better. And another thing is that, you know, we've got this new thing called Cooper coming out, right? So uh, you hear a lot of positive stuff about it, you hear a lot of negative stuff about it, but you know, instead of complaining about all the things that are wrong with Gutenberg, giving feedback is actually a contribution to the WordPress project, and the developers need your feedback, because they don't know if something is wrong with it unless you tell them, right? So, yeah, um, it's, it's very important to um, just keep this thing going.
high school business. Um, we try to make it very easy to continue to work with us and you don't even have to be a programmer. Um, like, so, for example, if I write a patch for WordPress that fixes the bug, um, all you need to do is test this fix on your site and convert that it. it's working. It's also already a contribution. And whenever you contribute, uh, we try to give you props on a commit. So, for example, we may change WordPress and send like props to the new username. And it also shows up as a batch on your WordPress or profile. And why? If you do that contribution, so you really don't have to be a programmer at all. And, but if you are a programmer, you can um, download WordPress from GitHub. You don't need separation or anything else. Uh, it's all locally, and you can uh, write a patch. Oh, awesome. <laughs> um, uh, uh, I just want to uh, point out some of the sources that we use. So, along with bay.gurdus.org, it is uh, Slack and some chat. Gurdus.org, right? We need to order some chat. Yeah, yeah. So, basically, join the Slack group, and there is a group called the Coded Patch Call. Uh, actually, there is a version of the group for each and every and less. So, you join the group and less. Uh, there will be a very strong cycle uh, for discussion of Slack. And uh, you can also contribute to that. You can uh, you can move your direction, uh, what direction to check, and you can uh, choose a few items to choose a few requests if you know uh, if you want to help. Right? So that's also something so if you want to uh, get started uh, with code contribution. Yeah, cool. Um, so the question I guess is for it. Just sort of half past the first part of the day. So does does contribution to WordPress code related to WordPress core? Or we get other plugins into consideration as well. I know we already mentioned other ways of contributing like plugins and stuff, so we added all that. Um, but does anyone want to talk a few last plugins and how that is involved in the WordPress ecosystem, especially with regards to the version of core, anything like that? Anyone want to take that? Then, yeah, this is where you should have the guys from here, Pro, I guess. Yeah. Um, so, basically, what we do is Yeah, the documentation, 
or it might be a bag of cool things like that. So these tasty needs, I would also go honey glass in South Africa has a huge need because of the barrier of languages. And yeah, so and the other thing that I heard is a huge one and it's also great in terms of career development is mobile. So those would be the three that I would argue you need the most. And I really have a vested interest in honey glass. Yes, um, I just want to say, in my opinion, this new editor called Gutenberg, uh, it's about to really change the face of WordPress. And in order for it to be successful, uh, I think it's really important for people to give the developers their feedback. Because you don't want this thing to, uh, I mean, face it, it's the future of WordPress, so we need to make sure that WordPress continues to be easy to use and uh, well liked for everybody. So I say go test Gutenberg. There's an option to send feedback in your WP dashboard. And um, yeah, I think that's really important. Cool. Um, let's just came on back. Is there actually a difference to what we talked about before? We really asked how to do it. This is a different angle. Um, there are recently people contributing to WordPress. Why? And in light of that, why should someone get involved? Does anyone want to take that? Okay. <laughs> well, because your voice is valuable, and if you, say for example, take a little thing and you can take an easy support plugin, a support question that someone else turns, it frees up people up the line who don't have, who have different skills or have, are moved further down and have skills in other things that they can mess over there. So this is a community effort. So yes, the, that would be one of the failures. So yes, there are other people, but if not you, then you. Because imagine if everyone was like, oh, there's so many people. Because there's natural attrition. People's lives change, jobs change, whatever. So what makes it valuable is continual flow. So please remember, don't underestimate your small contributions. And come to contribute to the day tomorrow and make some more. <laughs> <laughs> Dot 
have a thing of how to become a sponsor and you can apply to become a sponsor. You can do it with the benefits of the name, but we have had work camps where people have said, you know, work has given a lot to me, I just want to increase the kitty and give a donation, so you can do that as well. And if you don't have a specific city in mind, I'm pretty sure that the Workers Foundation has a way to take donations. Yeah, if you go to the Workers Foundation, I'm always a donation form. And I'm going to use it to go to the Workers Foundation which are hack arms and work camps to be made by that kind of purpose. So if you want to randomly contribute, and you can ask for any money as well. Um, cool. This is actually a very good question. Um, and I saw the room about two years ago, but it's kind of like to talk about it. It's how is the Workers South Africa community, as in the global, the community around the country? Um, so they have various associations that create equal opportunities for locals. Um, that's a, it's a very good question that we're not going to be able to answer fully, I'm sure, but um, so let's come back to you and ask Chad about how we can get back more. But does anyone have any thoughts on that interest as a as a piece of African I think well, you might be able to go from the Okay. We are doing as much as we'd like, but we are doing some things, okay? Probably the main thing that we're pushing and what's actually really, really cool is, I don't know if Apple's got a parallel project running, but what Google has now is with Android and Meta, they've got peer-to-peer -peer app installed. So if you can get the WordPress app installed on your phone, if you are in a, low, in a rural area where the cost of data is driving you nuts, your peers can install their app, your app from their phone with that, which is brilliant. But that only takes care of the fact if you can already understand one of the languages. And at the moment, a WordPress is mainly only available in English and Afrikaans. You might see it as a meme that I'm pushing to get it translated because that's a barrier to entry. Um, we are, one of the things that the WordPress Jovo community is talking about is, but hasn't formalized, is how to do some more outreach programs specifically for the Mandela Bay Initiative and things like that in terms of training and education because a lot of times people go, they don't even know about WordPress, which obviously makes me a sad panda, but it is an opportunity for me to say the word WordPress a lot, which is one of the things that they do. So I think that answers a bit yeah. of it. Um, please come to that myself, but I'm the one who's involved in the whole matter, so I'd love to get an idea of how we do that work. Um, is there something that we should do as much as possible? Or if you want to talk to us, if you want to. Oh yeah, I mean, that's the end of the whole matter, I'm going to have to say, just for um, There's two questions here that I can't say anything. Uh, what is the suggested coding language that you want to contribute to what it's called? Like, what coding language do you need to know? Um, and the question below is effectively the same thing. So, um, what are the main programs that you want to contribute to what um, So, there are the two uh, main programming languages that the book has built in. First of all, it's PHP. That's probably one of the oldest uh, programming languages on the web, but it's also very common. So we're working with PHP, but also uh, lots of JavaScript, especially with the new import editor, which is written in React. So if you're a uh, rather well, usual WordPress, you don't like PHP, but you're used to more modern JavaScript, that's perfect. Uh, you can do all of the great React stuff with the import. Yeah. Yeah. I think 
that's actually pretty good. Two pretty good questions here. How is WordPress actively pushing PHP 7? And how is WordPress ensuring the drive of getting the latest and greatest more widespread in the mentioned HTML5, CSS3, ES6, etc., which you can add PHP 7 to that list, so those questions kind of go together. Um, does someone want to pick up on that? Uh, sure. Just talk really loud. Yeah, loud. okay, try to speak loudly, which is not really my, my take, okay, really. Okay. okay, perfect, thanks. Um, so, as I said, um, the new Gutenberg editor is written in uh, most modern JavaScript, so it's React, ESC, and everything. Um, as for HTML5, all the default things are already HTML5, and if you go to the custom meeting, there's an option you can uh, what you build with it. As for PHP, there's an initiative going on called Surf Happy, which tries to push uh, website owners to uh, update their PHP on, on their servers. But the thing is, uh, for lots of historical reasons, uh, WordPress has been running on PHP 5.2 upwards, which is a really old uh, version of PHP, I think it came out in like 2006 or so. And the problem is we can't just uh, Bound to push requirements to, uh, let's say, PHP 7.2 or PHP 5.6 because they will break a lot of websites. And so we try to push them to update their PHP version set. Um, there's absolutely nothing stopping you from running uh, WordPress on PHP 5.7.2 uh, or something. Um, yeah. Hello. Um, do you want to that yeah, yeah, so the PHP is more of a, it's also security in some if you are using an older version of PHP or any of uh, any other security, right? So you can have also that you can evangelize uh, by using PHP 7.2 if you have time, you can update your servers, if you are and and you can ask your developers to update your servers, so please do that. And uh, 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 as fast as that, you cannot like just pump up the requirements because of the basic reasons. So other than that, I think uh, like, there is a lot of work going on because uh, to you know spare for the basic stuff. Cool. Yeah. Um, a non quick question, and I assume the question you can go on to explore is how does one get involved with the youth development program? Um, that's it's a pretty good question, but I don't think any of us have a fully qualified answer to that. <laughs> so I have had to be involved. I'm coming back to John Mark Woods um, and Benny Woods, who is probably actually next door to the other side of the back of the exam. Um, about that, about how you can get involved with all that kind of stuff. So it's a very good question because we're not in the position to answer that right now. Um, that's a good question. Who is the core team deciding on the vision and future of WordPress? That is a, that's actually a good question. Who, who decides how WordPress moves forward and what does that mean? Yeah, so, yeah, so the people who show up is like a, is a, is a you know, clever answer. Like, right? so, just you can do that. Like, show up in the chat group that I told you about. Uh, like, to the front end team on main for WordPress recording, go to the join the Slack group, open the product, and hang out the core channel. There will be meetings, there will be discussions. You can contribute there, you can contribute to the user, you can influence the user, you can influence the direction. So please do that. And uh, so there are, uh, uh, to answer more directly, so there are some needs uh, that uh, needs to develop, development of every different uh, parts of WordPress. For example, there is a need for, uh, there would be a need for Google, there would be a need for uh, accessibility, there would be a need for, actually there would be, I think, uh, many of the people would be needing a uh, uh, part of WordPress, right? Uh, but that discussion happens on Slack. You can contribute there. You can uh, you can influence that discussion. You can influence the vision. And yeah. Yeah, I guess the short answer is whoever shows up. Um, <laughs> but as as with uh, with an open source project, it's kind of I guess what you would call them kind of meritocracy in that sense, in that people who do the work are the ones who get any more responsibility. So some folks, in terms of code and code and that kind of thing would be given access to the code directly to the WordPress core repo, like as well as the core community and that, that kind of access. Um, obviously, the security needs to come to take that to everyone. But anyone has to put a patch, and if a patch is high quality and consistent, then show up, you can get those kind of responsibilities. So it's not limited to anyone type of person or company or place in the world. Um, 
Um, there's a couple of translations. Presumably, translations to the WordPress is a centralized plan for translating popular plugins too. Um, has anyone answered? I don't know. Answer. Someone's answered. Well, then you can't put that on to take it away. If you're a translator to the WordPress at all, you can translate the WordPress core, and any plugins that are on the WordPress plugin directly. Which is good. So any plugin that you can download WordPress at all, you can translate it on the translate the WordPress at all. Um, and it assumes the system of plugins as well as the core. If you translate it in the core, it will translate to the system of plugins as well because it's all on the same platform. Which is pretty cool. Um, and if you come to contribute it, why don't you do that? <laughs> you should come to contribute it. Also. You should. Seriously, it's great. So, what are we going to do? That's tomorrow. The known office is an old, an old hustle brewery in the beach road, which is actually kind of close to the default on the website. What is the process for arranging to contribute there? Uh, to be honest, it's the same as arranging to meet up. You just do it. Have Wi Fi. That's a good thing to have. I thought we were working here this year. There was the Wi Fi contributor, it didn't work. So it was, you know, there was a, like a few hundred people that had contributed to WordPress and there was a Wi Fi. So that was a disaster. <laughs> but it was fun. Um, have, yeah, I guess this is on the language thing as well, because um, you can touch the data stuff have to do that. The WordPress had a really deep version of MySQL, uh, that's what I'm really going to. Uh, sure, yeah, so uh, official WordPress supports MySQL, which is uh, one of the most uh, common database engines. Um, there's also a port called MariaDB, which is from, the, I think, the same guy who founded MySQL uh, created MariaDB named after his daughters. And it's actually compatible with MySQL. Um, so you can run WordPress with MariaDB, with MySQL, doesn't matter. Um, uh, like, which is important. Cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. How many words do WordPress press? WordPress good press words. Which is, you know, Lots. as many words as the WordPress good press, the WordPress good press words. We were running very short on time, um, and we did. We did sort of cover this right at the very beginning, but I think it's a good thing to add to it. But I think you have to be how contributors help you personally, career wise, friend making or other. Um, yes, I think we need to support the contributor. You're right. So I mean, where do you find people so that it's just a very personal story about how contributors help you personally? Go. Uh, yes, lots of times, and I've actually been recently approached by another company that does a lot of work for us.
Det er ubeskyttet det, det er ikke noe å være helt det, det er ikke noe man vil ta høyst her. Også med disse, om det sier, først får vi greie det til det dresset, og så har man ikke noe informasjon om det er ikke noe det. Det er ikke noe at det er kanskje ikke noe man vil ha. Det er ikke noe som er det. Yes. Vi må bestemme hvert fall at alle de tendens der går hjem, så er det jo at han bør kutte fordi det er en før en høyst. Altså, vi går hele tiden med at vi kan kjerte Cool. That's that. Thank you very much. Thank you for all the time. This is all very, very helpful, very informative, and very fun. Thank you very much.